Hey everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my chocolate roll-up box. So you may remember a little while ago I bought you a concertina box. <coughs> Excuse me, this one is my chocolate roll-up box. So instead of them being um, in four sort of that way on, <laughs> I've made them into a box. Um, this is a cute little belly band that just slips around and then we still have the same concertina thing going on here but instead it is a box. Um, I haven't got the chocolate bars, surprisingly we don't still have them in the house. <laughs> um, but they are the same size as the previous ones um, and they will house a standard chocolate bar um, of varying sizes. I'll just stick that back in there. Um, so yeah, that is my chocolate roll-up box. As I say, no chocolates in it today, but it's the same size boxes. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to quickly run through how to make one of those. I have already made three up here. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and make our four, uh, fourth one. So to start off with then, to make four boxes you will need four of these and I've just realised I don't have any of my instruments handy. Oops, bear me just a second. Where's my scoring? It's all gone. Oh. There we go. Right, sorry about that. Okay, so you'll need four pieces that are seven and a half by five and a half or nineteen by four and a half. Um, and then you are going to score the long side at one inch, five and a half and six and a half. And in centimetres that will be two and a half, fourteen and sixteen and a half. And then on the short side we're going to score at one and a half, two and a half, four and five inches and that will be four, six and a half, 10 and a half and 13 in centimetres. Okay, as I say, this is the same same box and same sizes as I made for the concertina box. So if you did make those, these boxes are exactly the same. The only difference being on these is that I haven't added the DSP when I've made the boxes up and that will become apparent in a little while. So once we've done our folding and burnishing, you've got your two narrower scores up here and one at the bottom. So the one is going to be the base of your box. So we're just going to cut these up and then that very last one, as you know, we just get rid of. And then if I can never quite remember which way round I want my box lid to open, um, so obviously the join is always the back of the box, so if this is going to be the front, this piece here needs to be my lid, so that's the lid, so that's the left hand side, so I'm going to cut away this skinny section here, I'm going to cut down this one here just to create, as I call them, those shoulders. I'm going to tuck that under and cut this one away and then again create a shoulder with this thin one here. And then the lid obviously remains as it is and we just cut very thin pieces off here that will just allow it to close and stay closed. Okay, we'll see. We might need to trim a little bit off, but we can check that. Okay, so you're now left with this shape. We need to add, and I know normal, oops, that's gone completely off where it should have been. Um, what's going on? Um, yeah, normally I would have added the DSP, but I'm not going to. I don't quite know what happened there, um, but I'm not going to because when we add the um, when we add 
the hinges it covers up a lot of the panels and then you're just using double DSP and I don't want to waste it so there we go so that's there oh my goodness I do apologize I don't know where these sneezes are coming from right there we go okay so I now have my four boxes that all open that way okay so if I look at my box here I'm literally doing that way so all of my boxes now open that way okay so I've now got them in a square so the first thing I want to do then is add my hinges so for your hinges you need one let me just move those slightly you need one piece that is two inches by four and a half or five by eleven and a half and we're going to score it down the short line in half so it will be one inch or two and a half and then you need two pieces that are three by four and a half eight by eleven and a half centimeters and again we're going to score it in half which is one and a half or four centimeters so i'm just going to quickly whiz this on here and score my halfway marks okay and then I'm going to add the DSP to these so you're going to need a fair bit of DSP going on here so you will need eight of each um, three quarters by four and a quarter and one and a quarter by four and a quarter three and a half by eleven and two by eleven okay so obviously the wider ones are going on the wider piece here oh and now that's run out that's just typical isn't it always when i don't want it to no they're blades that's no use Oh crumbs, come on. So I pick up either a blade or a seal plus, not just the stamping seal that I want. Okay. Right, let's try again. Okay. So, as I was saying, two, the wider ones obviously go on the wider sections and the wider hinges and then the narrow ones will go on the narrow ones fancy that okay that's that one done and then just two narrow ones just on hinges okay so I just need to look at my original to see <laughs> how they go together so I'm going to fold this one in half and you noticed how I folded that with the DSP towards each other so these this one is going to be stuck to the front of this one okay so Let's hope my seal doesn't play up again. No, it's been good now because I'm going slow and gentle. So this one will sit on the front of these ones. And as I said, you can now see why I didn't bother putting DSP on because it'll just be covered and it'll get wasted. And I'm not wasting my good DSP. So that one goes on that one this one will sit on the back so again I'm just going to give it that fold and burnish there again add some adhesive if you have directional paper obviously you just need to pay attention to where which way round you put in these so this one goes on this one So that's those two now together and then the last one will go 
on this side here. Again, fold and burnish that bit there. Add my adhesive that will now go onto this one. So there's your concertina box and as you can see now all my DSP is done so I just need to do this side now. I'm just going to quickly whiz all these bits on. Oh that is not very straight at all is it? Goodness me. Let's try again. There we go that's better. I guess the ones on the inside will be a bit trickier, but I'm sure we'll manage. I'm sure it will be okay. Oh yeah, because I can just open it out that way. Or maybe not. But anyway, we'll, we'll get this done, won't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so... there. One there. And of course if you want to add them to these sections feel free. I'm not. Oh actually it's not too tricky to put these on at all. I think these just make would make great Father's Day gifts or like a, a stocking filler because you can buy the, in the UK you can buy the um, four, four or five bars of chocolate for a pound so make up these boxes and you will have quite an inexpensive stocking filler or even a gift for someone if they have a certain love for a certain chocolate okay so this is not the right way round yes yeah, so is this yeah so these are the front front of my boxes now so then I just need my belly band. So my belly band I have measured out is four and a half by an A4. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you are with your A4s, but it's four and a half or eleven and a half centimetres wide, and then an A4 in length. And yes, I was a little naughty because I never do my measurements because they never work out right. So instead, I'm going to pop the centre edge on the centre of my two boxes here. I'm going to keep it on the desk because that will assist me in keeping this where it needs to be. And then I'm just going to fold it round there. Fold it around there. And all the while I'm keeping all of this tight now to stay in place. Another one there. And I'm just sort of squeezing around the sides very gently. And then the last one is going to go there. Take it off. And then I'm just going to reinforce these, making sure again that my edges are lined up. And then getting my bone folder in just to crisp up those folds that I've kind of made vaguely. Then we'll give them a nice little grease. Again I'm just constantly checking that it's lined up and then the last one goes here. Okay so you can now add your DSP or three of them anyway. So you need two uh, DSP that are four and a quarter by three, 11 by eight centimeters, and then you need two that are four and a quarter by two, and that's 11 by five. Now, it's not an exact measurement because obviously, when you fold, it sort of makes it harder to um, measure your DSP. Um, 
I kind of went with just measuring this. Um, so as you can see, my panels aren't exactly, they don't have the same border, but I, I'm not too concerned about that because I think it looks quite pretty anyway. And then I'm just going to pop this back on. And what I can see now is that if I had add a strip of adhesive on this edge and a strip on this edge, it will seal perfectly. So inside edge of this one, outside edge of this one, pop it back on, make sure the one with the adhesive on the outside goes in first, fold this one round and then you just press them together. And then I have another piece of DSP here that hides majority of that join there. Pop that one on. And that is your box and wrap, she says, famous last words. There we go. That you just push out and you just need to decorate it. And I did mine with the lovely colour and contour and the scalloped contour um, dies. So I have some white here and I have my scallop contours. So I'm going with that one for there. And then I just need to do a little bit of stamping. And I actually used crushed curry, not a colour I've used a great deal of. And some a memento, that's for some art, that's not the same thing. So memento for my sentiment. So let's start with my flowers here. And then I want my sentiment. Uh, thanks for everything. You can go on that one. Right. Sentiment on here. That's that one done. And then my flowers. So I've got the outline here. That I'm just going to stamp. I don't know how much of this will go on to the die. So, And then I'm just going to stamp off. And I didn't even match them up. To be honest, I just stamped them on. Because it's it's sort of a, a rough sketch anyway, isn't it? So that's that done. And then I just need to die cut this one and cut the other one with my trimmer. So Grab my little mini because this one is perfect for this. I'm just going to pop that on like so and run this one through. And I think, as crazy as this sounds, I think I had issues with my um, plates with my first ones. These are my replacement plates, if you recall several videos back that I actually managed to crack one. I have no clue how. Um, and yeah, I replaced just one. I haven't replaced both of them because I didn't need to um, and just switched them over. And yeah, I, I now have absolutely no issues running them through. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it was a plate issue or a, a user issue. Probably the latter, but... <laughs> It's now fine and I don't seem to have anywhere near as many issues, so I'm quite pleased about that. So I'm just going to trim this oops, sentiment down. No, that's not going to work, is it? Because that ledge isn't level. There we go, that's better. Okay, so a couple of dimensionals on here. goes on the 
the centre. And then again, just a couple on the back. And these will sit on the front. And that is it. I mean, you can add as much or as little detail as you wish. But that will just sit on the front. And I really like them. I think, and I love the colours, granny apple green and crushed curry. Thanks for joining me. See you all again soon. Bye.